Perhaps it is an unpopular opinion amongst Ralph fans, but I must say it, I genuinely appreciate the work and effort put in by the folks from Virtual Rail Fan and other live camera sites to provide rail fans a chance to see what kind of rail traffic passes through other areas. Sometimes I can find it beneficial as a rail fan to watch feeds from Decatur, Alabama, Evansville, Indiana, and LaGrange, Kentucky to have an idea of some trains that may end up down in my neck of the woods near Nashville, Tennessee. Another one of these cameras that I often find myself watching is the one located down in Cordell, Georgia, where the CSX line meets with Norfolk Southern at a diamond, frequently seeing trains of both companies making passes for this medium-sized town in Southern Georgia. My wife and I took a week-long vacation earlier in July to Orlando, Florida for a week at all four Disney World parks, and as we were on our way home on Saturday, July 13th, I noticed a sign on the interstate where we were looking to get lunch said Cordell, which instantly rung a familiar bell to my mind. I ended up finding a spot to eat called the Railhouse Tavern, which is located just around the corner from the Diamond in Cordell. If you ever go there, I recommend you have exactly what I had, the buffalo fried shrimp tacos. Deliciously fried and good sized pieces of shrimp, tossed in a flavorful yet spicy buffalo sauce, drizzled with what appeared to be a house made ranch, and I also got the onion rings which was some of the best beer battered onion rings I have had in quite a while. After lunch, I had to go over and see the rail park in which the camera was located, and my, my, let me tell you that I am jealous of the rail fans of Southern Georgia to have this. Here in Middle Tennessee, I do not know of any place of a setup like this to observe trains. It has an area of plenty of parking, historical signs educating visitors about the railroad history of Southern Georgia, and it is all complete of a shaded platform with plugs to charge filming equipment, fans, bathrooms, and benches to make waiting for a train enjoyable. I had a brief conversation of one of the rail fans there, and although a lot of people were there to watch, it seemed as though I was not missing much on this day, unfortunately. Time wasn't on my side on this trip to wait and capture a train down in Cordell, but as somebody who enjoys checking out the camera from time to time, it was just very nice to finally see this place in person. I'd love to eventually check out more locations of Virtual Rail Fan in the future, but as for now, this trip was a start. Hopefully next time we can check out a train in person. I'm Danny B. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.